How's it going? We're going to do something a little different today. Look at those. All right, I'll talk about that in more uh, in just a second. But we're going to play a little bit of Retro Wave. Um, I listen to that when I'm working late sometimes. It's a good vibe. So uh, the lighting's going to be a little more subdued than usual, and I'm going to be small this time as opposed to the uh, other way I usually have things oriented. So I'm designing a tennis racket. This is just for myself. Um, I'm working with a company called Decor, D-A-H-C-O-R. Um, I'll leave a link in the description so that you guys can check them out if you want to. I don't really talk about um, tennis stuff on this channel much. It's usually reaction videos, but I do mention tennis sometimes. And, uh, you know, I thought it'd be fun to do something a little bit different and talk about some stuff I'm working on. So these are a bunch of variations of a racket that I'm working on. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to do like a two-faced design. One side will be pink, the other side will be blue. Um, and the differences on the left side and the right side um, are just the outer area actually here. So you see like a bright zebra pattern here. It's just black and white, whereas here it's like a dark gray and black. And on both of the left and right sides, it's a, this dark gray and black, which I just call dark zebra. Um, it's that on the inside. This is called the throat of the racket right here, and this is called the uh, hoop, or the head, so the inner part of the head. Uh, yep. So I'm thinking pink on one side, it's kind of a hot pink, or uh, this sort of neon blue on the other side, or my other idea is this, this gradient color, it's kind of like a sorbet, I don't know, pink to lemon yellow on one side, or... Uh, or not, or I should say, and um, this sort of neon blue to neon green on the other side. So that's what I'm looking at. And my variations are either there's a gradient where it'll be this color and that color on the other side with the white zebra or the dark zebra, or pink and blue with the dark zebra or white zebra. And I'm pretty ripped up inside about what decision to go with here, but something I'm working on. If you guys want to look at some of the closer details, I'm still working out how I'm going to actually get some text on there. There's sort of like a textured thing that says zebra. It's not too, it's not too visible. It's kind of subtle. It has like a, some kind of a texture to it. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be, but uh, up close it's, uh, you know, you can identify it. But I don't want the text to be in your face. And, it, and it's hard to have like text here that blends or fits in well with such a busy and extreme background like that. It's a little easier on this black one, this dark zebra. Um, but I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna, how I'm going to work that out. But those are little details, important but little. And if you zoom way in, you can see uh, the company Decor and their logo with a little white outline, which I may or may not think is important. We'll see. But yeah, this is a racket that I'm making in collaboration with this company. Um, it's a racket company that makes really high quality rackets, but uh, allows you to have a lot more customization than a standard racket company would. And honestly, for the money, I think it's very worth it. I think it costs, in general, it costs a little bit less than a twice of what a normal racket would typically cost. Um, and you really, you know, for twice as much as what a regular racket costs, you're getting you're getting your money's worth. Full customization, not only uh, the colors, but the specs. You have a lot of say over what the specs are going to be. So, yeah, if you play tennis um, and you're looking for, like, a racket that you can really call your own, look into the company Decor. I haven't actually played with their rackets before, but they basically guarantee their racket satisfaction. And... Um, I guess I'll just have to take their word for it, but I hear really good things, and uh, regardless, I just really want a racket that I can call my own, and hopefully I love it, because I'm also I'm also designing a lot of uh, details regarding the physical characteristics of this racket, which are going to dictate a lot about how it actually plays, but um, you know, how the numbers of a racket on paper don't necessarily always translate to how you experience it, because you know, not literally every single detail is on paper, but uh, for the most part, I think this is going to be a racket that I'll mesh well with, but we'll see. We'll see once it's actually done and it's here. But uh, for now, I'm just debating the colors and the design a little bit. So do you guys have any input? Do you guys have any thoughts? I just wanted to share this because I thought it was fun. Um, and it's something I'm thinking about. It's on my mind from time to time a lot uh, as me and Decor go back and forth on design ideas. But yep, I've narrowed it down to a few options. So do you like Dark Zebra or Bright Zebra better? And do you like the Gradient or the Solid Color idea better? I, I'm certain about one side being pink and the other blue, or one side being this uh, gradient sor sherbet, sorbet, sorbet, oh my god, um, or this, you know, neon teal, uh, 
green gradient thing. Um, I should have a name for that. It's easy to call this like neon sorbet, right? This sort of pink to lemon yellow. But what would I call this? I want to call it like radioactive honeydew. So we'll call it that. What a ridiculous name, but honestly, that's pretty apt, isn't it? Look at that. Radioactive honeydew. Don't, don't tell me that's not what that looks like. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> that's such a sick name. These are just like hot pink and uh, hot pink and neon blue. So, I don't know. If you guys have any input or something, let me know. I'm curious what you guys think. But uh, this is a racket that I'm designing, and I just love how it's coming out so far. Really excited to see what the finished product is actually like and how it plays. And um, I've talked a little bit about how I'm going to maybe reveal what my tennis looks like, or you know, have a, a video upload of uh, what um, you know, just me playing me playing tennis essentially. So I'll let you uh, guys get to see this racket a little bit before I actually have it. But uh, I think around the time that this racket actually gets here, I'll definitely have my own footage of me playing in it, and maybe I can make a little bit of a YouTube video out of it for you guys too, so that'd be cool, just something to think about, food for thought, you know, and yeah, I will uh, leave it at that for now, but I'll see you guys in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in another video down the road, you know what to do, like, subscribe, comment, etc., alright, bye for now.